how I came. I was brought up Catholic. I was in the, raised a Catholic, uh, devout Catholic. Was in the convent, studied to be a nun at one time. Got out of that. Um, <clears throat> but ha So I was always raised with the Trinity doctrine, even though it wasn't directly taught. You had it in your songs, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity, and all that stuff. But um, coming to find out about the true God, uh, it was Facebook. We were just talking early. One of the girls was saying, thank God for the Internet. Because I don't know if I would be where I am today without learning you know, things that I saw. And what happened was, there's a guy named Ramon, and he was writing against the Trinity. And before this, it must be before this, I was defending the Trinity. Somebody made a video about the Trinity, and I'm defending it. I little did I know he was writing remarks to me that I didn't know was him. It was under a different name. And of course, as all good Trinitarians, you always quote those scripture verses that everybody knows about, and the one that's Pentecostal. So I let it go, but he was asking questions, and um, they really got to me because I said, I've got to sit down and think about this. I said, he's making sense because I'm looking at him, I'm looking at his wall. People are saying, you're going to hell, you're not saved, you don't, you, you, you're apostate, you're a heretic, and he's getting it from all sides, and he's still trying to be in there answering their questions or coming up or, you know, do this, do that, tell me this, or why would, you know, and talk about agency and all this stuff. So I kind of, I let it kind of go by, but I'm, I'm watching him. And I'm seeing how he's reacting to all this, and I'm seeing what he's writing, and whatever he's writing, he's getting me to think. And I believe I was surfing the net one time, and I had to write this down. <coughs> it's Peter, when Jesus asked, who do men say that I am? I read this, and Peter said, Thou art the Logos, existing in the Father as his rationality, and then, by an act of his will, being generated in consideration of various functions by which God is related to his creation, but only on the fact that Scripture speaks of a Father and a Son and a Holy Spirit, each member of the Trinity being co-equal with every other member, and each acting inseparably with and interpreting every other member, with an economic subordination within God, but causes no division, which would make the substance no longer simple. And Jesus said, what? <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's like, and I'm thinking, we really sound that stupid, you know? And, and I just, and I looked and I said, you know, Peter's simple answer was, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Yeah. And I actually was in tears when I read that, because I was like, it is, it's so simple. If I just believe, what I'm reading is like, it's, you know, how can you, you know, I'm thinking we really sound that dumb. You know, and, and I thought, okay, I'm really worshiping another God. It's not the same God, it's three, one plus one plus one, still doesn't equal one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then when the oneness Pentecostals would write, and I see them, I'm like, my friend was right, you know, trying to talk to Pentecostal oneness and a Trinitarian, it's that actually the oneness Pentecostals make the Trinitarians sound like Einstein, and that's not good. <laughs> you, know, they just, you know, they both use the same scriptures. But Eric Chain said something, and what he said was, only when we let go of what is false can we begin to see what is true. Mm -hmm. And I had to let that go, and I knew, when I sat there, I said, okay, I have to renounce this. I said, I'm going to have to do it publicly. You know, my Facebook friends that I had, and, and I finally, and I was still mixed up with the pre existing thing. So I said, I have to renounce this. I said, I can no longer believe that Jesus is God. When something hits you, I didn't know how to define it yet, but I'm like, I know this is true. This is true. I don't know how to explain it to you, but I know this is true. I haven't formulated or the arguments yet, or if they come back, I knew they'd come back with the same scriptures. I, like, I really don't know yet, but I'm going to study that. And they're like, how can you know and you're not even, you haven't even studied the thing out, but you, you, you claim you're right or whatever, and I'm like, no, I'm searching for the truth. And I did, I lost friends, because I knew what it would cost me. And so the friends I had, I even visited them, Tallahassee, whatever, and it's like, all of a sudden, it's like, they, you don't even exist. You know, you, you even ask them questions. And I remember, I think it was, um, Dan talked about reasoning, and I think that's what it gets to is the reasoning part. And I remember somebody saying, if you look at a question mark, it's like a hook. 
You think of a fishing hook. You get people, you ask questions. You got a reason with them. And it's like, and the people don't want to, and that's what I always start with. They might get tired of hearing me. It's like I start with John 17, 3. Who does Jesus say is the only true God? You can't mess that up. It's so simple. It's right there. And, and I, I'm just amazed how people avoid that. And they want to get into something else. And I'm going to take Dan's advice. That doesn't matter. We're not going to bother. That's not important right now. It's this. If we can't get the foundation, then there's really nothing to talk about. Because we're building on the wrong foundation. And we're going to get the wrong gospel, the wrong Jesus, the wrong... i, I got to know who I'm worshiping. So, and that's me. I've, I've done YouTubes now. I do have a website. I've taken stuff from Dan's, I got some Dale, whatever, and you know, some other people, and I've kind of put it on there because I put stuff up there that I found interesting, or I found that it helped me, and I figured if there's somebody else out there, and if it helps them, you know, I just praise God that it would work. So that's basically my testimony.